Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to get these cute pineapple nails. Just keep watching and we'll get right into the tutorial. For this tutorial you're going to need a thin striping brush, a tiny dotting tool, and a small detail paintbrush. You're also going to need a base coat and a top coat, a pinkish coral color and a gold nail polish, a yellow polish, a green polish, and a black polish for the detail. You're going to want to take your top coat, I'm using Orly Bonder, and you're going to want to paint all your nails with the top coat. Just do a thin layer on each nail and make sure to cap the edges. This is going to help protect your nail and help your nail polish stay on longer. Next, I'm using Orly Luxe and I'm going to apply a thin layer to my middle finger. You're going to want to apply the gold to all the nails that you want to have the pineapple on. So let this layer dry and move on to your other nails. Next, I'm going to take Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in the color Coral Reef and I'm going to apply a thin layer to the rest of my nails. You can use whatever color you want for these nails. I just chose this color. You're going to want to let that dry and you're going to just go in with your second coat of polish to even out the first layer. So just let these dry. I'm done with the coral nails. These are all done. After that dries, we can start on the pineapple. Using OPI, I just can't cope a cabana. This is like my favorite yellow. I love it. So just start in the middle of the nail and make a line down and then another line down. And the, the top is going to be round. Do one coat, let it dry, and then do your second coat. I'm using Essie First Timer and I'm taking the small detailing nail art brush and I'm putting some of the green on the foil and thinning it out with some acetone. Next, I'm just going to work on the little stems or the little green part at the top of the pineapple and you're just going to want to make little lines. Once you're done with that, let it dry and then you can go over with a second coat. So now that's done, you have the shape of the pineapple. Now I'm taking a black for the detailing part, putting some on the foil and dipping the striper brush in the acetone, thinning it out as usual. And we're going to start working on the outline. You just start at the top and make a straight line down. Do this on both sides. Then you're going to connect those two lines in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfectly round because when you go in and make the lines, you won't even be able to tell. Now for the lines in the middle, start at the top edge and work down to the bottom corner. You're going to make three lines, one in the middle and then two on the other side. Then you're going to go the opposite way, starting at that top line, going down to the corner, then at the bottom of that line and knead it down into the center. Now you're going to work on the leaves at the top. You're just going to want to outline the green with the black. This is going to help get the pointy shape of the green leaf. Today was the first day for me to drink coffee in two weeks, so my hands are extremely shaky. I apologize, just make little strokes around the green stems. You're going to take your tiny dotting tool, or you can use a toothpick if you don't have one this small, and you're just going to make little dots in the middle of the diamonds that you created. So this is the finished product. Just gonna, you're just going to let that dry and then you're going to go in with your top coat. I'm using such V top coat to seal my nails and make them glossy. So that's it for the pineapple nails. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more nail art. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.